the number one thing you need in your rabbit habitat is of course your rabbit stop just kidding but also not hey y'all i'm sarah welcome back to another video today we're going to talk about the top five things to have in your bunny habitat before i start i just want to say we would love if you could like and subscribe to our channel we love building the community we have so please and we also really would love if you could comment any tips or tricks that you have for your rabbit habitat anything is welcome so please like subscribe comment and even get that notification sound when you want to see a new video okay so number one for your rabbit habitat is the most important thing and that is hay hay is extremely important in your rabbit habitat and this is why your rabbit needs free choice hay which means they need hay all the time available to them 24 7. hay is 80% of a rabbit's diet. It helps with so many things, including the GI system. Rabbits have a very, very, very fragile GI tract. They can get lots of tummy issues like GI stasis, which is very bad and can lead to death. So hay is extremely important for this. It helps keep their tummies moving. It also helps with grinding down a rabbit's teeth. So rabbit teeth continually grow they do not stop growing. And a big way for them to keep grinding down their teeth is by eating more hay. Not only is the hay good for their teeth, but like I said, it's really good for their digestive system as well. You might be wondering, where do I put the hay? That is a great question. In a hay box or a litter box. At least that's how I do it. We also just made a video explaining the litter box and everything that goes in it. So please check out that video here on our channel. The second most important thing you'll need is a water bowl. So this is interesting because rabbits genuinely like to tip over their water and food bowls. It's just something they do. They think it's funny. They like to be sassy, whatever. A water bowl that basically has the whole bottom like touching the floor is probably the best you can do because they can't tip these over. This is also like ceramic and it's much better than a plastic bowl. Uh, if you have a plastic bowl, your rabbit might actually chew on it, which isn't good for them at all. They just, they chew on everything, like truly. So the best thing you can do is to get them something that they won't chew on. The third most important thing in your rabbit habitat is of course, food. I use the Small Pet Select Timothy based rabbit food. They're small pellets and I would say rabbits should have about an eighth of a cup in the morning or at night or maybe just in the morning we do use pellets for protein and things like that but genuinely rabbits don't necessarily need pellets to survive if we all lived in a perfect world rabbits would continually just eat hay and vegetables but some rabbits just don't sustain that type of nutrition or diet so i do use pellets for my rabbits i will say they also get a little bit of leafy greens at night this could be anything from you know a couple sprigs of like arugula or spring mix to leaves of romaine okay Number four most important thing in your rabbit habitat is a hidey hut or a castle or whatever you like to use. So I use the Small Pet Select castles. This is the smallest one they have. They have a medium sized one, they have a large one and they have an extra large one. It honestly is so big, it looks like a dog house but my rabbits love it. Hidey huts and castles are important for a number of reasons. I would say the first reason is that rabbits love to feel protected. They're prey animals and so they're constantly on the lookout for what could eat them possibly in the wild rabbits burrow so they dig little holes and they live underground pretty much obviously this is not the case in a rabbit that lives in an apartment in new york city but this is a close second to what they would like to call home so during the day when it's very sunny out and it's like the best time for a rabbit to be prey they will sit in their castles all day long i would say 
from around 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., my rabbits are in their castles. As soon as the sun goes down, they are up, they're ready, they're playing, they're doing whatever. But normally during the day, they're in the castle and it's very important to have this for them. They need to feel protected. They need to feel like they are in a secure environment. Also, if you own more than one rabbit, it's really nice because they do huddle together inside the castle. Even in the tiny castle I have here, they will huddle together. It's so cute. It's just part of their evolution and they're very secure and feeling like they need to be, you know, in a safe spot bundled together as a grouping. The fifth most important thing in your rabbit habitat would be the fifth most important thing in your rabbit habitat is toys as well as treats. Rabbits need toys and enrichment just to keep them feeling like they are still a wild animal playing in the wild and they don't have this domesticated feel about them. I don't know. My rabbits don't want to be domesticated. They love being wild. And so having these enrichment toys is really good for my rabbits. Obviously all rabbits are different, but mine absolutely are obsessed with them. So first I have this Wonderland play set. The biggest thing on here that I want to show you is digging mat here. So this can actually be sold separately on Small Pet Select but it is like a mat that they dig their like nails into. They also bite it constantly um, and it's really strong so they don't destroy it. A lot of products I've gotten, my rabbits just destroy them within like two days. This has not been destroyed yet and we've had it for a few years, so that's good. But yeah, so that's one of the most coveted of all of our toys here, but we do have a ton, so I will go through a few of them. This is what a very, chewed on haymobile looks like. There used to be cubes and little hay braids on here. They are all, hi Primrose. They're all gone. Now they're currently working on chewing the wood of this. This is important as well for the teeth grinding thing I mentioned before. All the wood that they chew on these, which Small Pet Selects products are all handmade and all made of wood, which is so important because rabbits will eat plastic and it is not good for them. They can ingest it, they can get so sick. Wood is something that they would find in the wild and eat. So another thing my rabbits love are these like willow sticks. I just throw these in their pen and they just continually bite them for a few days. Here's what one looks like after it's been chewed. Don't do that. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, I'm Sarah. And if you want to follow me and my three buns on Instagram, we are at PCP buns. Like I said before, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, just tell us what you have in your habitat, what your rabbits love. I will be re responding to lots of comments. So I'm excited to start engaging with you all. Um, and that's like the next step in my process of making videos is of course responding to user comments. And I already have seen so many great responses and I'm so excited to get to talking with you all about it. So like I said, please like subscribe, comment, and also hit the notification bell. If you like our videos and you wanna see more, we are always, always producing new content. Thanks, bye.